The committee, after careful consideration, has determined not to award the 2013 Prize for Excellence in Leadership. Another year without a winner of the Mo Ibrahim Foundation Prize, but board members are not deterred. After all, this is a prize for excellence. We are seeking to have leaders who can be exemplary. I'm not surprised that we don't have a leader every year. I think it's just normal and I'm sure, personally, I'm very confident that in the future we'll have more leaders. And improvements are being made, albeit slowly, on the Ibrahim Index for African Governance, which is consulted when considering awarding the prize for leadership. 94% of Africans living on the continent have experienced an overall improvement in governance, though concerns are growing over the widening gap between those at the top of the table and those at the bottom. South Africa comes in fifth place, but experts believe the country still has a way to go. We shouldn't be number five. We should be number one. And, and that's a real cause for concern, that from the year 2000 when we started measuring to now 2012, there's been virtually no improvement. And if you look at where the areas are that are particularly disturbing, it is in the issues of economic inclusion. That despite ranking almost 20 points higher than the African average. Experts here want to see more being done by all African nations to ensure improvements on the index. Only by doing so and by demonstrating excellency is the Mo Ibrahim Foundation Prize likely to be awarded at a future date. Natalie Powell, London. News that moves. ENCA.com.